Hey, what's up, pop-up camper fam? Welcome back to It's Poppin'. So I finally wanna get around to showing you how we created our cooler slider for our front storage box. I appreciate all the great feedback from our pop-up camper campsite tour video where we kinda showed you a little preview of how that worked. So in this video, it, uh, it's kinda interesting because I went through a few iterations of the cooler sliding mechanism. So I'll show you a few ways that you probably don't wanna make it. And uh, finally, in the third iteration, um, I'll show you how our, our final product in terms of something that actually seems to be working out well, at least thus far. So all in total, this um, project required um, at a minimum, and this is for the dimensions of our front storage box, so your mileage may vary, of course, but we used a little bit less than a four by four sheet of half inch plywood. We used two two by two by eight foot, so essentially 16 feet of uh, two by twos or those furring strips, and then we used only one of the two by threes uh, in total to build out this entire sliding platform. And then of course we used a handful of screws. Um, I think I used two inch variety and then also three and a half inch variety, but the way you mount it might be different from us and things of that nature. But uh, nevertheless, those are approximately the raw materials you might need if you're gonna be doing this modification yourself. Now, that's not to mention, of course, the oversized baggage door or cargo access door that we installed in our pop-up camper, which of course facilitates being able to uh, remove our cooler from our front storage box. So, of course, all this wouldn't be able to be done if you don't have the larger baggage door in order to pull your entire cooler out. So. With all that being said, let's get to it. platform I should say I just I hope it will support the weight of our cooler uh, as is seems a little flimsy to me to be honest but let's throw the cooler on here and see how it does empty Quick update on version three. <laughs> so I have the sliders here vertically mounted now. And essentially I have the sliders mounted to this two by three and then this little uh, two by two furring strip. And what I've got to do now is just figure out my clearance for my lips here. And then once I figure that out, of course I will screw down the two by threes, figure out the distance in between the inner furring strips here, and then we'll put our um, plywood down once we figure out that distance. Might have to trim our current one down a little bit, and then of course, screw our plywood down into our furring strips, but that'll be version three, and we'll see how well that holds up the weight of the cooler. to center it like perfectly but <laughs> oh, oh no it's a, what's it hitting what, what is it hitting I'm just gonna push it back a touch maybe there what was it hitting 
it was this. Alright guys, so I'm pleased to report that our cooler sliding drawer held up exceptionally well over our camping trip. I have no complaints about the functionality whatsoever. As far as what's next, I need to of course take out our sliding box that we just installed. I want to take that out essentially as is and prime it and bed liner that as well. So of course the plywood and the untreated wool will have a little bit of water protection for when we're pulling it out or if something drips on it from the cooler. So there is actually one change I wanna make and it's not, actually not even a change, it's an addition. So on the sliding drawer, all I have for supporting the actual slide out drawer itself is just two uh, furring strips, two by twos running this direction. I have some left, so all I want to do is add maybe two or three, one here, one all the way here, and then if I have enough left, I'm going to throw one here just for a little bit more structural support. The only other thing I might consider doing, because these, are, these slides are not locking, I might consider putting maybe just some sort of lock, maybe going into the frame right here, I'll, maybe I'll mount it. Oh shoot, I could mount it maybe on that bracket that I'm gonna put in and then it'll just go straight down into the frame or something like that. So that way when we're in transport, this isn't shifting slightly and hitting that door maybe uh, on accident. It'll just be something to lock that in during transport. So now that we've got the sliding platform all removed from the pop-up, what, what I did is I went ahead and replaced those 2x3s because I, I split some of them screwing in and so I just completely replaced them. I have to do a better job at uh, doing some uh, drilling prior to screwing those rather large 3 or 3.5 three inch screws in. But uh, nevertheless, got those replaced, I went ahead and sanded everything down quickly then of course put our oil-based primer on it and then finally the, the bed liner, the black bed liner on everything pretty much disassembled. There's a few parts that I just kept assembled that I felt confident in painting together. So now that we've got everything bedlined and hopefully now relatively water resistant, I wanna go over exactly how everything works before I install it because I think it'll be a little bit easier to explain. Okay, so first things first. This is essentially just a platform so that we can raise the bottom of our front storage box up high enough for our slide out to clear our baggage door or cargo door, that bottom clearance. So this is just simply to get it up that prerequisite. So let's see, just shy of two inches. So what I have here are three two by twos essentially and that's just to get this, um, and let me think of what this is, half inch plywood up and off the ground. So both the two by twos and the width of our plywood are 22 and a half inches. And this is dictated by, of course, the width of our box. So if your width is different, that might be different altogether, but 22 and a half on here. Now the, Length of our platform is 33 and a half. And the reason this is 33 and a half inches is because the slides that I purchased were also 33 and a half inches. So essentially these slides dictated the length of everything right here. And the reason of course I went with 33s are because, or 33 and a half inch um, slides are because our cooler is, well, as you saw, 
about right here. So I needed something a little bit longer so then the cooler could fully extend out of our pop-up. So moving over to the actual slide out system itself, you can see this is the part that actually slides out. These two by threes here are what will be attached to our platform. Once again, these two by threes are 22 and a half, or sorry, 33 and a half inches long. And those will direct mount, direct, um, or will mount directly onto our platform. And where it is on the platform just kind of depends on where this corresponds with our baggage uh, door, our cargo door. So I think it actually sits kind of over here a little bit. But nevertheless, these two by threes are also 33 and a half to correspond with our rails. Same thing with this platform right here. This is 33 and a half. Now, what dictated the width of this platform was A, obviously the cooler, and our cooler is approximately 15 inches wide, but B, this is about the widest, including the rails that stick out that we could fit through the bottom of our baggage door. So that was, that's what dictated the width of this. But if you're wondering or wanting to do exactly what we did, 15 inches on the nose for this platform. Now, like I said before, one of the improvements I wanted to make was use up some of those extra two by twos as just a little bit of supplemental support. So I added three more two by twos. And the only reason these are where they're at is because I have the corresponding stop blocks for the cooler directly above these two. And then I just threw one more in the middle. Of course, screw these into our plywood uh, from bottom to top and then also in from the side prior to installing our slides. So a little bit beefier now that we have these extra two by twos. guys so that concludes the pop-up camper cooler sliding modification if you have any questions about the build itself or anything for that matter definitely let us know down in the comments if you enjoyed the video definitely hit that like button it helps YouTube know to promote that to other people who might enjoy it as well and as always hopefully we see you in the next video if not hopefully we see you out there camping